I promise this is part two of my super excessive bikini haul. So I'm going to take you through the second set of bikinis I purchased. Most of these were purchased from retailers that you may not have heard of, or maybe you have, I don't know. I put on my favorite summer dress to kick it off because I was like looking for a reason to wear it because it's neon and bright and happy and I just love it. So I figured why not? Why not put it on for this? So let's start running through all of the things I purchased. Bear with me, there's a lot. So the first item I have that I'm gonna be trying on is actually the item I was waiting for to do this haul, which is a Rev Dolls bikini. These are fresh, new, and out. And it is my solution to an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini minus the itsy bitsy. Or itsy, yeah, itsy bitsy teeny weeny. So this is a white bikini. And as you can see, it has neon yellow polka dots. So I'm really excited about it. The top has a zippered front. Meow, sexy, conservative, sexy, conservative. Um, I've already noticed one thing that I'm kind of annoyed about, which is right here, you can see that they were lazy about the seaming. So it would have been really easy to honestly just start a little bit further over so that these polka dots weren't overlapping like that. I don't know if you can see, that's lazy, but it wasn't an expensive suit, so I'm hopefully gonna love it so much that I let it slide. Though I am slightly like type A, and that will probably drive me nuts. Oh well. The next suit we're gonna talk about is this one piece singlet suit, which I ordered off Etsy, that has a skeleton on both the front and back. This is my gem purchase this season, A, because I've not seen anybody else wear it, and B, because the guy who runs the shop, the shop that I purchased this from is just a really nice dude, and I was really excited to purchase from him. I will link to him uh, in the comments, as always, but he's a good guy, this suit's good quality, and check it out. The next suit I have was actually a really bold purchase for me. It's from a company called Hapari. I have a white bottom, and then another tiny top. <laughs> this is like tiny, but the colors were just so entrancing. I can't even think, I am not, it's like a ball of yarn. I'm like a kitten, meh, meh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, it ties around in the front and it cradles the girls, so I'll be showing that as well. Then I have another cow cow purchase because what is a haul these days without a cow cow purchase? It is this top, uh, which I have just learned you can get custom printed with anything you wanted. So I'm very much thinking of making a data bikini because I think it'd be hilarious to have a picture of my dog in my swimsuit, like right in the front with like stars and stuff coming out. But anyway, this is a pineapple print as you can see up close and the back is really cute. I actually like more open backs. I'm very comfortable with my back. So I try to leave ample tanning room and this is a great suit for that. This suit is from a newer company for me, which is Adore Me, which I've just started buying stuff from. Very, very simple, it's just a black suit with the mesh down here, the sides, details there. And then the top is more like a bra structure and again, the mesh um, kind of structure here at the top with an additional closer. So it's kind of almost like a sports bra um, style. It's a little bit higher cut than I would normally wear, but I just like the mesh and we're gonna see how that looks. Uh, I've not even tried this one on, so we'll give it a go. This is a suit from uh, Rue 107. This is the first thing I've ever purchased from them. It has a really lovely Hawaiian motif, which I love because I love Hawaii. And the top is really where the action is at. Uh, you have these armholes here. Uh, the top ties around the front here and then at the bottom. I'm gonna be really honest with you, I'm not super impressed with the construction for the cost of the suit. The suit cost me around $100 overall and I am already starting to see it just break down in the wash. It's just not, um, it's not as high quality as I've seen other suits be. I feel like the sizing is a little weird. I do really like it though, but I just, uh, I wouldn't call it as high quality. And I do find this sometimes with plus size indie designers where they, make really great concepts, but they aren't affordable um, and they're not as experienced as maybe the mass production side of the house. So the, the 
construction isn't as nice. I mean, the Rev Dolls is another great example where the seaming is not lining up. I still really try to support these brands because the only way they're gonna get better is if we purchase clothing from them so that they can financially afford and get the experience to uh, have more technical skills. So it is what it is. I'm not totally bashing them. It's not like a complete piece of crap. It's just, there's little nuances that I do notice because I'm a fashion geek that, that annoy me, but the average person probably, probably wouldn't notice it. I'm type A, I'm sorry. Uh, the last actual suit is from another one from Forever 21. This is just, I wanted something gothy because the plum one didn't work out and I just love that like goth feel. So this is a kind of olive green suit with a zipper. Again, that easy access control. But no, 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 no. I can't. Oh, I caught it on my dress. Ah! What is it with the zipper? Anyway, um, it has that zip up, zip down experience. And then the bottom has the cutout sides, which are really popular this season. It seems like every suit had them. High waist with cutout sides. What's that about? I don't know. It's just a thing. So now I'm gonna try all of it on and I'll let you know my thoughts as I go. I feel like I could be a ribbon dancer. Do do, do do, do do. So this is the Rev doll suit. I don't love it. <laughs> Straight up, I wanted to love it. I took all the tags off and I put it on and I was just like, mm -hmm. let me talk about why I don't love it. I don't feel like this was designed for a girl with a booty. I feel like this is in the danger zone. Like, the, my butt could just like come out of there and I don't want anyone to see that. Also, there's a little bit too much tightness on the elastic up here, which is giving me this lovely like muffin top, which I don't love. Also, where it's hitting is weird. When we talk about the top, I don't get it. It, it just doesn't work for me. I, I feel like the zipper needs to be a little bit lower, or the neckline needs to be a little bit different. The arms feel a little weird. Like, I could go up a size, but if I did, I don't think I'd have the support I need. And maybe I should have ordered a larger size in the bottoms, whatever, but I still don't think I'd like them. I'm just not feeling it. And the fabric itself is weird. It's like lined in t-shirt material. I don't know if you can see that. And all I can think is, Damn, that's gonna take forever to dry. It's just, it's not me. Oh well, it happens. And I always gotta be one or two in the batch, so strike a pose. So everything that other suit got wrong, this suit got right. Let's talk about why. The neckline is much more flattering. So when the suit is zipped up, I don't feel weird. It's not a weird cut, it gives me enough skin. If I want to get sexy, I can't zip it open. I'm still covered, but it is more dramatic. I like that the zipper comes all the way down to the band. The band is reinforced at the bottom, so there's going to be no issues with the zipper coming undone. And whoop! <laughs> uh, there's no, be sure to put that zip thing down, otherwise that will happen. Your boobs will just whoosh. Just tells you what my body wants. Anyway, um. Also, there's no pattern here that's mismatched, which drove me not so about the other suit. I also like the higher waist to the bottoms. Again, booty patrol is on point. The cutouts are nice. They add a detail without, while keeping the suit really kind of clean. Also, I just really like this suit. I think it's a good color for me. I feel really pretty. And I like that it, I kind of found a replacement for that other suit that was more gothy and dark. Rawr! Um, but that still is me. So I'm, I'm loving this suit. I can't wait to wear it. This was like an impulse purchase while I was like walking around the mall. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that. And I'm so glad I did. So another turn, ba 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 ba. Again, Booty Patrol is great. Sashay around and step. Uh, so here we have a suit from new cover, Adore Me. It's nothing fancy, it's no wild print, it's no crazy story or cutouts, but the detailing is really nice. It's simple, it's clean, and it looks good. It's also very flattering. You can't go wrong with black. It's the reality of it. It will make you look slimmer. 
Nice booty control. I like that there's a little cheeky cheek. So it's a little less conservative in the butt coverage than some of the other suits, but I really, really love it. Also, great length here. Not too high, not too low. It's pulling me in at the right places, but then allowing me to have kind of maximum view here of what I want. Which is what tum tum tum. Actually, I don't really want it. It's just I want a tan. Tan me, baby. Um, I, I love the cut. I actually like the full coverage up here, so it is pulling your arms in. If you have kind of, I have loose skin up here, so it's really nice for me to have that pulled in. Additionally, there's only one kind of negative for me. I'm not a fan of bra back tops. The reason is I don't have a lot of boobalas. My boobalas are little. I don't need a lot of extra support. I don't need an underwire. These ladies are pretty much gonna be okay whatever I put them in. So this is really to add more support and function. For me, it's a non-thing, but you know, it's comfortable. I don't feel it, so I'm okay with it. To give you guys the full tour, but da 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 I really like this one. I think it's a great suit. I think it's fun. I think it's, I don't know. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Model time, pose, 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 pose. Now for my absolute favorite purchase of 2016. It's the singlet suit designed by Shane of the Dead. Look at this, it's a full skeleton on the front, and this is what I really love. It's a full skeleton on the back, which means this man hand drew this design all over this suit. And there's something about artistry that I just love. I love the idea that someone took the time to think this up, to draw it out and get it made. I guess this is my shout out for digging deep for clothing. You never know what you're gonna find when you go online and look. Uh, yeah, it sucks and it takes a lot of time, but if you do it, you come up with gems like this suit. For me, it's a win-win scenario. The more often I discover these local boutiques that are making great things for plus size girls, and ironically, Shane of Dead also makes this in straight sizes, so if you're not overweight, you can wear this as well. I want to just support them, especially those who are making clothing in all sizes, because the idea and concept there is anyone should be able to wear an amazing suit like this. And I want to support those stores. So this is my favorite suit for a lot of reasons. A, it looks awesome on me. B, it's a badass design that's completely unique. And C, it's made by a designer who supports all sizes. So boom, boom, thumbs freaking up because I love this suit. That was kind of, mm. Mm, that felt good. Anyway, I love this suit. I absolutely love this suit. It is very uniquely designed, and I appreciate what Rue 107 is doing, designing suits that are unique and different, again, for all bodies. So if you are thin or curvy, you can get a suit at Rue 107. Um, the pattern is great. Again, I like the line up here. The coverage is great. Again, great coverage here. The height is nice. Uh, the only thing I would say about the ties is I make sure to double knot this because otherwise you will have an escape because a bow is not going to hold this. Uh, it is a little tight at the neck, so if you have an excessively large neck, this might not be a good fit for you. It doesn't bother me. I like that it's high up. I just think it's really different and really cute. I love it. Um, what else can I say? Oh. One other thing to note is they made this suit in a print that I really wish I would have purchased it in. It's like lemons and it's yellow and purple and it's a little bit crazier. And you know me, I'm a sucker for a crazy print. But unfortunately, I'd already purchased this suit and it didn't make sense to purchase the exact same suit just in a different color. So especially when it's something as unique a cut as this, right? It's <laughs> cover the ladies. Um, it's not something you would want multiples of but i really do love this one thing i will say about them that they definitely did much better than the red doll suit is the placement of the print is really thoughtful the person who designed this really did think about where the print goes where it's going to be most flattering to the body and where it's going to look the best so i really do think the designers at rue 107 are heads and tails above some of the other kind of indie suit designers and i just love it so give you a little twirl again Boda Patrol! And uh, yeah, I love it. Big thumbs up for this one. So now I'm wearing the Hapari suit. I have the white bottoms and this nice really ombre blue kind of tie top. Now, here's what I'm gonna say about this suit. 
If you need a pair of white bottoms, these ladies are killer. Now, one thing I will note, they do tend to run a little bit bigger in the waist. So I purchased a 3X. If I could go back and do it all again, I would have purchased a 2X because sometimes in the pool, they go boop, 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 and I get a little, a little freedom in the bow bootay. But otherwise, I really, really love this suit. I love that these are non-see-through. They are a great swimming short. They do hold very well. There's a nice coverage, as you can see. The top itself, it's not for everyone. If you're not comfortable wearing a top like this, I totally get it. But for me, this is my suntan top. When I wanna get color, this is what I'm gonna wear. I can tan everything. I'm still very covered up, very supported. And in the back, I've got, again, almost a completely open back, which means I'm gonna get a great tan. Um, I love the way uh, their mi mixes and prints on Hapari that you can kind of try a whole bunch of different things and build a very expansive swimsuit wardrobe with just maybe purchasing some different tops and bottoms. I think they're a completely underrated swimsuit designer. I think more people should shop there uh, because their prints are fabulous. And again, there's not a lot of people wearing their suits in the plus size range. I very rarely see them on other plus size bloggers. And I feel like you have a chance to buy something that really stands out. And frankly, very high quality. They're a smaller swimsuit brand, but the quality in their products is really up there. So I feel like you're getting kind of a bargain when you purchase their items. This specifically, this top was on sale. I think I spent like 15 to $20 on it. Considering its construction, I definitely got a deal. I think that they're greatly made and uh, you should definitely check them out. Big thumbs up to this one. Again, back room, back view. Again, booty view. Uh, we have full coverage here, the complete open back and I love it. So now I'm just wearing that top from Cow Cow that I showed you guys earlier. I'm wearing it with the white bikini bottom. Again, you can see the great Hawaiian print, pineapples, the symbol of hospitality. I really, really, really love this top. Again, because it's different and anything that's different I wanna wear. I feel like too often plus size suits have the same cut. I love the back. I'm completely comfortable wearing an open back. So something like this, is really fun for me and it also lets me get a great tan while kind of showing off a part of my body that I am not afraid of. I think that oftentimes swimsuit providers are afraid to kind of give us areas that might show our roles. I don't really care. I just want to get tan and I want to be able to be comfortable in the sun with it being so hot in Texas like screw the extra fabric. Give me something that like is just comfortable and keeps me covered. That's all I really care about. Um, I really, really, again, love this suit. It's definitely in my regular rotation now. And what I also love is it's fun to kind of mix and match with the other suits. So right now I have it on with white bottoms. It looks really great with a lot of the other bottoms I have, like the Mary Mecco bottoms I have. I wear them on the blue side. With this, also a solid option. And I just feel really comfortable in this as a combination. So again, this is from Cow Cow, and I love it. So thanks everybody for watching the second part, part two of my swimsuit haul. I hope you liked it. I hope you found some suits that you might love. And uh, I kind of had fun making it. I love putting on swimwear. It's the best. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And as always, the details to all of the suits will be down there in the description zone. So you can always find out where I got them if you want to get a little couple treats for yourself. If you like what you saw, da -da -da -da, subscribe, and as always, have an amazing day. Swim, 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 swim.